Yep, here I come. Hi, and welcome back. First up, look at this awesome Cupo Yum Yum shirt. <laughs> Eating noodles, because noodles is awesome. So first I want to say is I, I am absolutely shocked and amazed still at how many views I am still actually getting on my Selling My Game Collection video and how many of you have contributed positive comments. There were some negative ones. Uh, someone said, like, grew up, and I'm like, hey, dude, I drive a nice BMW. I have a pretty nice apartment. I have a really good paying job. I think I have grown up quite a bit. But um, that don't really matter, though. Don't, I don't really care about that stuff. Um, but um, most of you have been really positive, and I'm actually amazed at how many sort of collectors were like, hey, yeah, I have done that too. I have, you know, made my collection smaller, and all the, the games that were really good or just meant something to me, I keep. And, you know, going forward into the future, as you know, I have bought the Switch, but I'm but I'm back. Actually, I already got the Switch. I sold it. I regret that a lot. <laughs> now even more. But, you know, I do, I, I am still going to buy games I want to play in the future. And if I don't like these games, I'll just sell them. Just, poof, flying my child somewhere else. <laughs> so if you, I'm not exactly sure if you can see it in the video. Look at my muscles. <laughs> but in the, in, the, in the back, you see the tree shelves. And those are the tree shelves that I will keep. Not the games in the shelves, but the shelves itself. I will keep three of those. And in the middle shelf, that's all the games I will keep. I have about 50 to 60 games. I was looking at my collection after the last video I made. I'm like, mm, I'm going to keep those too. Actually, like a minute ago, I, I was like, hey, wait up. I'm seeing Mir Automata. No way I am going to get rid of that game because that game is absolutely fantastic. So again, thank you so much. I've had dozens of new subscribers. Thank you so much. I, I am humbled. I am shocked. I, I honestly... Didn't want to make this video just for the sake of having a lot of views or shocking my fans or whatever, or viewers. Um, I literally wanted to make the video for myself. I have watched this video a few times myself, really trying to find out, am I going to do this? And I am going to do this. I am already doing it. I have sold quite a lot of the... The, the expensive games are, are moving pretty fast. And basically, you know, I don't want to give numbers, but the, basically I already got my high-end PC. So, um, and I haven't even started, to be honest, yet. Um, but this is not what the video is about, is about. I apologize for having this really long intro talking about stuff. But, as you know, I have uh, bought back the Nintendo Switch. And, man, I regret selling it. I honestly regret selling the Switch. It is probably one of the stupidest things I have done in a while. And also buying the PS5. I, I should definitely have waited way longer. Um, but I, I got Bayonetta 3 with it because I'm a huge fan of Bayonetta. Um, and I bought Fire Emblem Warriors. I think it's uh, Three Hopes. I am going to get eventually Bayonetta 1 and 2 on Switch. Uh, and the first uh, Fire Emblem on Switch is like 10 bucks. But I didn't want to sort of buy like, oh, I'm going to buy 20 Switch games. No. Let's play this stuff first, and then we will see. But I was also a massive fan of the first Fire Emblem Warriors. Kind of same with the Zelda Hyrule Warriors. I, I beat those. I loved those. I will definitely get them back. But the game that I want to talk about is the game that I, I just wanted to switch for. I am like, no, you know, I'm going to get a switch. Is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I am honestly at the beginning of the game. Honestly. I, I have played through the sort of first sky level. I'm sorry if I spoil anything. Maybe don't watch this if you don't want to be spoiled. But you start at sort of a, a tutorial level, level area. And then once you have completed that, you'll be thrown into the open world. And literally, I'm not even joking. Literally, I, I, I was walking or a friend of mine actually was playing. And he saw some construction stuff that you can build. And he was basically having a we because I had like I had a game night last night, game evening, whatever game day, and we were having so much fun trying to build a cart, trying to build stuff to kill the mobs, trying to kill really strong mobs, um, making weapons. How genius is that? 
You can actually make weapons. You can just pick a stick, go to even an apple, and you're like, bloop, and let's see what it makes. It's so much fun to try and see what kind of weird weapon you can make. And for example, if you have a stick and like a flame fruit, and then you hit an enemy, it caught on fire. That is the stuff I want to see in games. Details, developers. Details. I want to see details in games. I want to chop grass. I want to chop down um, trees and you get wood. And if you chop down the wood, you get planks. And with these planks, you can make a campfire. And then with the campfire, you can cook stuff. That is the type of detail I want to see in open world games. And you don't really see that. Besides in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I was already a massive fan of Breath of the Wild, but oh boy, they have improved basically on every criticism I had. No caves, there are caves, there, there are a bunch of random caves. Uh, more gear, there's more gear, there's way more gear. More weapons, well, you can even make your own weapons, there's a shit ton of weapons. More stuff to do. One of the first sort of impressions I had when I when they put you into the Hyrule, you know, the really the world of Hyrule is it looks more alive. It, it, it's it yes you have these really awesome looking planes of Hyrule, but still there's so much stuff to see. And even though in my mind I'm like, hey, I, I know this map. There is so much new stuff in the map. It it, it is freaking amazing how Nintendo has done that and it's freaking genius that you can build stuff you can refine ore to build even more amazing constructions and again i am literally like five steps into the open world of hyrule itself so i, I haven't even touched anything we were just playing around the whole evening i probably spent we probably spent about eight hours playing the game it's so much fun uh, you know, we were trying to beat this really giant sort of troll and um, seeing, hey, what, what, what will he drop? What can we make of this? It is really, really fun. And, you know, I, I made a comment on YouTube about how good Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was and, some, and someone was saying like, hey, Clockto got his mojo back. Well, I didn't really lose my mojo. It's like the games are mo mo uh, losing their mojo. And I was playing this, and I'm like, I am honestly having more fun with this, with make, building stuff, trying out weird ass, you know, great swords with, a, with like an apple weapon. I'm having more fun than playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It, it's not a joke. I'm not trying to say this like, oh my god, you love Final Fantasy VII so much, and you, you know, the remake or the, the Rebirth isn't as good as this. No, it's not. It is really not. If you compare the open world with Tears of the Kingdom or even Breath of the Wild, and then you have the Ubisoft style, go this, do this 20 times, do this mission 20 times, find the life spring 100 times, it gets boring. And with Zelda and same with Breath of the Wild, you're being dropped into this open world, you have one marker, and that is where you have to go for the storyline, and that is fucking it. It's not, oh look, here's a chest. Oh, look, here's a shrine. Oh, look, here's a ruin. Oh, look, here's a castle. Mm, maybe you should go there. There's some, no. You have to look around your sort of switch pad that you have in Zelda. And you're like, hey, that looks interesting. You click on it. You don't have to do it, but I click on it. So you, you sort of create a little like waypoint and then you know where to go. It, the game doesn't tell you how to do it. It just says, hey, this is direction, north, east, and go there. And that is true exploration. That is a true fantasy open world where you've just been put into the open world and just do whatever the fuck you want. They don't even really explain how to play the game. They tell you, swing your sword. Hey, you can do this and make a weapon. But they don't tell you like, hey, maybe you should try this apple. They don't tell you like, hey, Maybe you should do this. Hey, maybe you should. You can make a cart, and then with a, a horse, you can you can drive around stuff. Hey, you can make an airplane. It doesn't matter. I'm not entirely sure if you can actually make an airplane, but we have been flying, sort of. It was really really fun, actually, and uh, I'm just absolutely 
blown away that they have made the same Hyrule map, but made so many changes that it feels fresh. It feels like a new game. In that regard, Nintendo truly is the only game company out of the tree. The only one that seems to understand that gameplay first, graphic seconds, because graphics, yeah. A lot of, not a lot of frame rate issues here and there. Um, Link itself, yes, I said Link. I know she's not sell that. Link itself looks really good. The NPCs look really good. But if you played a lot of open world modern games, Red Dead Redemption 2, um, Days Gone, Doesn't Matter, Spider-Man 2, and you you will play this one, you are going to get a punch in the face like, okay, reality check, Nintendo Switch really is very, very outdated. But it doesn't matter. I don't, I'd rather play that stuff than play any modern open world game uh, that you can think of, even though Ghost of Tsushima was really good and Days Gone is also really good. Zelda is above, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is above all of them, in my personal opinion. And as I said, I haven't even started. I haven't even found one NPC, um, not even one town. I haven't traded yet. Nothing. Just and do your stuff, chopping out, chopping down trees, trying to build bridges, trying to build weird ass stuff. It is so freaking cool. It is so much fun to play that game that, um, you know, I'm actually blown away at how much fun I'm having with this game. And I don't understand why this isn't the norm. No, it's Ubisoft style. Do everything 20 times over and then you get, yay, you've done everything in this area and go play in Storyline. I'm still going to play and beat uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad game, but just... Compared to Tears of the Kingdom, you're thinking to yourself, is it actually a game? Am I actually playing a game? Or is it just, you know, do this, do that? Is it someone literally telling you, go there, do this, and you get rewarded? But it, the reward doesn't really matter because in the next area, you have to do the same stuff over again. Find the life spring, area one. Find the life spring, area two. Find the fucking life spring, area three. It gets boring really, really quickly. And yes, you have towers in Zelda, but the towers itself are, are like an obstacle. Where in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you really have to get up a, a, a staircase. That's it. That's, oh, oh, no, that's not true. I'm lying. You have to, some towers, you have to go up two staircases or, or three even. It's not a puzzle. It's not an obstacle for you to climb. No, it's just climb two staircases. Yay. So much fun. So this is my way too long video of my first impression of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I cannot wait to actually play more. Um... And I'm also can't wait to play these two. And once I have done that, oh, nay, that's not true. Because uh, my friend, he's actually playing Monster Hunter Generations. And that is a Monster Hunter that has like six or seven hundred monsters in it. And I was looking at him, he was playing yesterday. I'm like, I am going to get that game too. I, we are going to play that game together. So I am going to order Monster Hunter Generations. But those four games, that it's, that's it for a very, very, very long time for Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm not going to say that I am going to beat Monster Hunter Generations, but at least I have to beat these three for I am going to buy another um, Switch game that will probably be the new Mario. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like always, you're going to see me next time. Mm -hmm. Bye!